All right, good afternoon, chat. We are <laughs> back on 1.6. It's been like literally three or four months. If not more. Oh God. Happening. It's happening. I can launch through Steam. I don't have to launch through a separate folder. Crazy. <laughs> Finally paid off, yeah. Finally, finally. Thank you. Don't know what the official time on it is yet. It hasn't been, uh, it's submitted. It hasn't been, uh, reviewed though. Uh, I can't tell you the official time on it. There's like 10 runs in queue. I say it's six weeks. What's the date on Rick's run? Uh, Rick had the record for like a month. So four weeks. And then there was like another month where I was moving. So I got, I guess it's been like only two months since 1.6. I saw, I saw the thing. Yeah, life be like that. Again, I don't know what the actual time is, but it's about a, uh, it's a sub 2.15 real time. It's about a 2.12, uh, in game time. Yeah. Uh, Inch, thank you for the tier one for three months, and we got it quite a few. Sunny Bay, thank you for the prime for seven months, and Berm, Bermi, uh, Geo, thank you for the resub for four months as well, or five months. They've been scribed for five months, but resub for four at tier one. Thank you. Elise, thank you for the five gifted. Alrighty, uh, before the ads man- or before the ads automatically play, I am going to run ads and we are going to be doing connections. As per usual. Gold, cube, temple, fence, machine, box. I have no idea what that is. It's going to be looked up. Cream, diamond, lighthouse, row, pyramid, dive, storm. Glitter Gardens. Uh huh. I feel like there's gotta be a lot of directions I can go with this one. There's gotta be a lot of directions I can go with this one, surely. Box, cube, row, dive, diamond, storm, glitter. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. Okay, like these are like pyramid shape or like like a conventional diamond you think of like, you know, like pointy diamond. I feel like a machine. Lighthouse. Litter. Diamonds, gold. I mean, is there like something that's like rich? Like, I guess pyramids had riches in it. I don't really know if temples have riches in it. 
But it's like, it's the difference between riches, like having riches in, and being actual riches. Um... I just don't know where to begin. Wait, let me let me Google what the one word that I don't know means, and it'll probably give me a uh... seek when a small piece of shiny metal or plastic. Oh, it's oh okay. What's the difficulty on today's puzzle? 3.9! Okay, I gotta feel like these two go together because it's like a small piece of shiny plastic. It's like those like bead things. It's like those funny like colored pillows that you can flip. It's those things. Because it's like arts and crafts, you know? I don't know, I feel like it's just gotta be these four. Sparkly things, yeah. Makes sense. I didn't know the exact go around with it, but... I just don't know where to else to go with this. Storm. Storm out of there. Major storm. I mean, it's like, I see these two going together because the lighthouse is supposed to help during a storm, but... They're like any other, like... I can't even say, like, coastal things. Pyramids are tombs. It's not like I, I, I mean garden. Fences and gardens, but cube box. I mean. A box fence. I don't really know what else would be a box, though. Garden. Gardens. In particular. It's not just garden, it's gardens. With an S. Uh, I've lost. Um. The pyramids are made out of cubes of rock. These two are like, these are like water things. I'm bored. I don't know what these are.
next time, darn. Participate in the Summer Olympics Wonders of the World. Ice. What is... Participate in the Summer Olympics box? Box? What are we... Boxing? Are boxing in the Olympics? Boxing, diving, fencing, rowing. Yeah, that's just like... Criminal that they, like, no. No, that's criminal. I probably could have gotten this one. Probably not. Ah. 4.9. Oh well. Shit puzzle. Person who made that should be fired. things all right uh so what am i gonna be doing today i am not gonna be playing stardew right away and instead uh watching myself play stardew at 2x speed because I do not remember this route. Alright, what do I do? What do I do? That is the question. What do I do day one? I have 85 wood. I think I clear everything day one. I put down the parsnips and I over clear. I get rid of that. I get rid of that. I get full get rid of these trees, right? Yeah. I just want to go through, like, the first year today and not worry about, like, anything else. Water. One eighteen forty. Or, I'm sorry, 118.25. <laughs> I, I was looking at the splits on my actual screen. Or on the playback. 18, 25, 24. Yeah, you don't really need to see the second splits though. All right, um, on day five, I harvest looking for gold, go around, look for the stuff. I'm gonna have to get used to the 1.6 hotkeys. Uh, go around looking for forge, yada yada yada. Uh, continuing looking for forge. Just waiting until eight here. I went early. Classic. Check the bundle. Go back. I think we're just sleeping a day, right? Oh no no no. Yeah. Wait, do I? Did I just, like, forget to buy? <laughs> I need 700G. I remember this. And I buy 35. I planted in this pattern. I'll have the picture up. It's fine. Pretty easy to remember, though. Uh... Yep. 
Got to sleep a day for farming level one. Go out, place this, read mail. Drop everything but pickaxe and scythe. Go straight down, drop whatever shenanigans I have. Talk to the wizard, go get spring onions. Get, get the correct bundle. I don't know if I'll reset for the correct bundle on this given day. for exact it looks like because I'm going to be passing out buy whatever crops I need obviously and then the tulip blue jazz somebody honk outside uh, plant our lovely crops water Water. We're just watering these next few days. And then on the 9th, we're going no matter what, I believe, to get a... Actually, no, I... you don't need to go no matter what. You can go. I go. You have, like, a day or two before it disappears. You don't have to exactly go on the 9th. It's just the first day it can show up. Go. Do I have. Uh, do I have exact materials? I know these notes have changed over the time, so they're not 100% accurate. This is what I have currently Iron, 40 gem, at least one jade. 205 copper, 120 iron, 53 gold. I don't know if that's going to be correct, though. I'm just going to skip through the mines because I really do not need to see myself do the mines. No, we're not going to be doing colored cheat anymore. Weapons fine. One seventy-four. I don't like the sprinklers, so I'll be able to see the exact exact amount. Oh no, I make furnaces. How many bars am I smelting? Isn't it exactly 25 iron? Uh, or it's 25 sprinklers. I think I remember this. Because it's 120 iron and all that iron is definitely going into sprinklers. 120 divided by five, 24, it's 24. So it'd be 120 copper plus the three furnaces that I make, which is 60. And I'm gonna assume the extra 25 is for the ax upgrade that I probably don't do anymore. I don't think I do. Oh, I know where alerts and gifts are. I had to turn on the, I turned off the alert box because I was recording stuff yesterday and people kept randomly following during my recording. We're just smelting up to 24 of each. I have a lot of extra iron though, or a lot of extra copper it looks like. I 
MS20 gifted? What the fuck? Midnight, thank you for the 20 gifted. Holy shit. What the hell? I'd greatly appreciate it. Sponsored your new water filter. I, yeah. We love when I am dumb. How many did I get? 56. I think I just need more than 50, right? How many does it say I need? 40. I think I need 50. Okay, apparently I do get 205 because I have the five extra here. Do I have the numbers in here correctly? I only do that. So how many spots is 24 basic sprinklers? 24 times 4. 96. Plus the 8 that I get later. So we'll eventually have 104. Okay. We'll just run with that. And if I have to pause, I have to pause. I'm not too concerned about the time. We just want to get through year 1. Oh, look at that we have we have a cute new two far or new farm right here that we're not going to use because it's complete and utter garbage uh, we are not playing cc anymore how cute oh we got the we got the animals back or the old animals uh, i gotta get used to 1.5 again we do play as a male character in this run in particular I think I can do the start. Mines might be a little scuffed because I'm so used to having the colored mines going, but I should be able to just do it. Oh, I need to turn on animation cancel. So does the timer automatically start or is the... Uh... No, auto splitter is not working. That's fine. I just gotta manually split. That's fine. I think I still technically want the chair, so I'm just gonna keep it. I'll just have the timer going just to know if I'm losing a bunch of time in a certain area.
Pasyari. No, I do it on the next day. No, we just go. We just go. Alright, right, right. Go, pick up our forge. It's gonna be a very uninteractive stream, by the way, because it's gonna just be me trying to remember the entire route and be focused on it, like, the entire time. Ah, uh, the extended areas, so this doesn't look as bad. So an extra leak and an extra dandelion to get the hundred G. The real question is, is do I reset for the garden bundle or do I just use a seed that has a garden bundle real quick? I don't know what seed has a garden bundle though. Yeah, for practice, it's definitely worth using a seed. It's just I don't know what seed. <laughs> I don't have a seed available for it. Uh, 
right, I need to get... Fiber. I think that's enough though, no? I don't have to go overboard. Yeah. I do need the piece of coal though. Um, I don't remember if the piece of coal actually stays or not. Unexpected. Rain is great. Apparently it does stay. I should definitely drop off the parsnips. Something I didn't do that I should have done. I forgot to do the one thing that I was supposed to do in the morning of this day. I had one job. I gotta change my settings. Actually, I'll do that right now because I don't care about this run. Um, show advance, go borderless, uh, show flash effects, no, use hardware cursor, no, invert keys, no, uh, where's the run walk button? Ah, uh, plus minus. Where's the... It's a drop down, right? Menu background. No. Uh... Where am I missing it? It was uh, doing the... See, it was doing the thing. It's not... Oh, it is none. Okay. Got the menu background's being none, so when I pause the game or when I do anything, it doesn't darken the background, which gets annoying. just sounds boring and also literally impossible to do because the raccoons take a uh, abysmally long time to uh, set up and do. Alright, I did perfection in 115 days. I'm not going to do it again. It wasn't a very hard challenge and then literally the raccoons just make it impossible if you're trying to make me do those. Because it takes a week to reset them every single time. Also, the raccoon bug is still not fixed, so they're still not very interesting because you can literally just put anything into any slot and it just works. It's so weird that, it, like, uh, it shows up with it now. Um, let's get the first few days actually down instead of 
fucking pain. I just realized because I just ended that day, it didn't actually save any of my settings. Oh no, it did. I thought you had to save the day first for it to actually save your settings. Nah, fishing's too scary. I don't fish until I'm fishing level 10 in this category. I get fishing level 10 in this category without catching a single fish beforehand. It's very fun. is good for you. It is. No warning body. Yeah, no more tune-up. That was patched. 07s. Garbage forage makes it so I have to awkwardly sell a few. Oh, I have not reread the new FAQ now. Why would I? I hate it. how Shane walks the bottom path now instead of the upper path on 1.6.
Uh, yeah, I enjoy the I enjoy the new Riverland farm. It's probably my second or third favorite farm now. Because of that one change. It makes the early game so much uh, more interesting in my opinion. I mean, Metal Land looks aesthetically good, but it's probably, like, the worst functionality farm. One of the worst. One of, if not the worst. Well, to be fair, the most recent perfection run I finished literally couldn't be submitted due to a power outage. Um, but technically the one before that could have, I think. There may have been something wrong with that. All the others had s somewhat of an issue. There's only, I think there's only been two perfection runs that I couldn't submit. Or I'm sorry, that I could submit. And one was on 1.5 and the other was on 1.6. All the other ones have either had a small hiccup in it and or a, uh, the, the original one had a issue with, uh, me trying to remove the background music because of copyright. And I messed up. There's literally only been two that I, I could submit. Because all the other ones before that were before the category was made. Before the official rule set. It's so weird not having to open up my inventory to drop things now. It's one of the one of the few 1.6 changes that I really have to get used to. Uh no, it does now actually. There's a full no Joja category, there's a no Joja waivers, and then there's an anything category.
Those are our three perfection categories now. Yeah. We got in the animal bundle twice now. I keep getting this morale to instantly spot on my farm. Very interesting. Uh, depends on how many runs are in the system. Uh, I can cheat and see how many runs are in the system, and it's like 10. And I could technically make it be accepted faster by just verifying the 9 runs in front of it, and then having somebody just do the next one. Timer, yeah. Oopsies, I forgot that I the auto-splitter doesn't work on this patch. Oh well. Not a real run, so it's not like it matters. Oh, yeah. I have CC in my head. The goal is sub-18. The reason I'm running perfection still, because I want a sub-18. I don't think it's for 1.6, unless if there was an update under my nose. So I had to reinstall an older version of the auto splitter to get it working for 1.5. Because the 1.6 load time remover didn't have the 1.6 auto splitter, and that was the issue with it. And I wanted the auto splitter for CC runs. So the load time remover might be updated for 1.6. I don't know if it's updated specifically for 1.6.8 or if underscore is just waiting for 1.6.9 at this point. Uh, that part doesn't really matter. Uh, but I, I would specifically want the auto splitter. I don't care about the load time remover. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the load time remover works. But... Uh, I don't think we accept low time, or do we accept game time on the extension categories? I do not know. I don't know if there's a point of me using the load time remover. In perfection. Do a verifier? I would have to check. I'd have to check if I'm a verifier for the extended category. <laughs> I doubt I am. Also, it's kind of entertaining because if, uh... Oh, shit. If we were to, if I were to enable the load time remover for perfection, the sub 18 would be drastically easier because we sleep, what, seven years? 
and it's about a minute per year of load time. <laughs> so I literally saved seven minutes. <laughs> Just by using it, quote unquote. No, that kind of sounds like a stupid idea, idea V. You say that, but the community center run was literally submitted like two hours after uh... <laughs> I got it. Is there an extra cabin so I can move it later? Not the point. It's always the point. <laughs> Stuff is submitted when I truly care about it. Stuff happens when I truly care about it. There's a reason why Perfection was never submitted, because I just want to sub-18, and then it will probably get submitted. <laughs> I'm picking up this extra Forge, I guess. Third time's the charm, right? Uh, it is. It's mainly because it's much less optimized. What's the difference? Uh, 1.6 is faster. <laughs> Even though there's more items. Uh, 1.6 has more items that you have to do, but 1.6 
also has a lot more game breaking items that you get to actually use in perfection that drastically speed up the run. In particular, these major things are Iridium Scythe, making money probably about an hour, hour and a half faster alone. Being able to just scythe clear all the ancient fruit is a hell of a lot faster than having to handpick it every single time. And then uh, Treasure Totems. Basically skips a hour and a half of Omni Geode farming ghosts in, de in the Skull Caverns. And you can do the Omni Ge You can get all the Omni Geodes you need for the entire run in about 10 minutes. I'm forever going to type CC. So let, let's put it this way. The old perfection route used to use Joja Mart because it was faster uh, than doing the community center. And it was about 20 hours long. Uh, 1.6 is about 18 hours long. And we do the community center. <laughs> we, the reason we do the community center is because there's three categories for perfection now. And one of them is no Joja whatsoever. So no Joja Parrot, no Joja Mart, no, uh, no, uh, perfection waivers and that is the category that i'm doing and that category is faster <laughs> 1. 1.5 is just lacking the quality of life that 1.6 has for perfection to be faster that said For a majority of speedruns, 1.5 is faster than 1.6 because the quality of life doesn't matter so much and 1.6 nerfed a few things. The reason why I was doing community center speedruns on 1.5. Nervousing for the tier one for two months. Emily might overtake Shane. Okay, no, but can we agree that Shane is faster? It's just that no one likes to run Shane. Or is it or is it actually a faster route? And nothing for the tier two for six months. And it's hard to optimize, but you just add more YOLOs. How is Emily faster? Isn't her schedule just worse? The vanilla marriage overall record is now 40-12. That's, is, wait, isn't that already faster game time? I, I don't know what my PB is. Wait, what what does Emma wait what what does Emily do to make her faster than Shane? What is what's the random tech? How is Shane just not faster? It's the 1.5 Emily Emily route with one quest, but on 1.6. Again, I got mixed messages here. Piano said it's a bunch of quests, and the demonic said with one quest. 
Oh, wait, no, you're talking about the fact that she has multiple male quests in the year one, right? And you get, like, an extra gem or whatever. And that's free friendship points. So you can skip days. Would be my assumption. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I won't say the Shane route is actually good, or in terms of it being optimized. I'm pretty sure my PB has like five rain days. If I were to argue that it was a good summer, I would need nine. Five is like, meh. Five is average, it's not even a good summer. So Shane route can like still improve by like over a minute of time save by rain alone. Not to mention doing a double quest board YOLO. better convert you into using basic sprinklers basic sprinklers are the best sprinkler type in the game for the point that you get them Now the real question is, is do I care about marriage enough to start running it again purely to have world record in marriage? I don't really know if I do.
Because if the vanilla if the vanilla Emily route is faster than the glitchless Shane route, that's pretty crazy. I, d I don't know how much animation canceling would actually save in the Emily route because I'm sh sure it's mostly just waiting for Emily to come out. So it's actually not that big of a time save, but... Actually interesting. I'd have to watch it. Yeah, if, if I didn't have CC World Record, I wouldn't be playing Perfection right now. I would be doing Community Center. Winter Days time saves and less Winter Forge times glitchless. It's much easier to bullshit into... Oh, okay. Oh, does it do Winter Tailing for money? I guess that makes sense. I should really get a seed with a garden bundle instead of doing this shit. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. I just slightly realized that the load time remover is actually working right now on 1.6 and I just realized that even though I was talking about it earlier. Don't have the auto splitter but the load time remover is actually working. <laughs> While well, the timer paused there. I really have not been looking at my splits. How lucky is the the Emily? How lucky do you need to get for the Emily route to finish, or is it something that I can just brute force in a day?
Dojo would be faster than CC, yes. It's just less fun because there's a little special part of the perfection cutscene at the end if you do it without any JoJo assistance. Which is the reason I'm doing it without JoJo. See, the thing is, is I don't even know I would do them on stream. It's more of a question of can I just do a few attempts off stream and just get it immediately? Like, is it a skill thing, or is it just, like, uh, other than the obvious, like, quest board YOLO part of it? Because that was, like, that's whatever. Is the rest of it RNG in terms of, uh, do I need, like, nine rain days or something like that? Go to birthday, need a few gifts from the mines, conveniently crates on floor 5 and amethyst quest. Then sleep till winter, few d few days, dink donk, get quest. No na brain days needed. Oh, so it's something I could essentially do in a day. Okay. I might do it then. Might, might not. The nice thing is, is if the person is running on vanilla, it's not like I'm yoinking their world record. I'm more just making it so glitched isn't slower than vanilla. <laughs> or glitchless, not glitched. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> happens. But the vanilla world record is currently faster than the glitchless world record. That's kind of funny. I guess you could technically submit that for both, but... I can just watch it. It's generally how I learn. this
How is vanilla? Oh, is it just because no one's put in the time for the glitch list, or like, how is how is vanilla faster? It, it, it just has to be like uh, people not putting in the time. That's fine. It's fine. I just find it funny. Because there's like, there's a difference in like category being faster and the category being faster on the leaderboards. Or having a faster time on the leaderboards because it was like that for Terraria for a while. The set seed Moonlord run was like minutes slower than the random seed category because no one ran set seed. But it, we like everybody knows the set seed is faster because no one cares to run it. Double viable quest after getting coconut from the card. Oh, that's that's horrendous. <laughs> uh, that was more of an example for Terraria. It's more just like people not putting in the time. Oh, good. Quality crop sucks. Uh, green bean, cauliflower, and I need to get a. Alright. Green bean cauliflower. Uh, if you're using Legacy RNG, it's rain every other day. And then it's just a dry spell for months. And then it's rain every other day. And then a dry spell for months. Rain is really shit on 1.6. You know, I just realized I got a gold parsnip on day five and I w did not pay attention. I could have used that, but oh well. Carrots, uh, you get it in the mines. I need to keep one of those for later, but... Well, I guess I need... I need to keep one for the turn-ins, but... 
Oh, I need my hoe. I forgot that this is guaranteed to die. Eh, I'll get it in lines. It's fine. It's not a huge deal. Uh, one, three, eight, one, three, eight. Okay. Find that later. It's not something I have to worry about on these first few days. Yeah, I did 205 copper and 120 iron plus whatever the hell gems I can find. And we're going back to dink donk hit every rock strategy. I do not have the... I do not have the color mines for 1.6. Alright, I forgot that th how that works on 1.6. Somebody who actually knows is this the <laughs> I forget is it that is it it's this one, right? Yeah yes does not answer the question. Is it top right or bottom right? It's the top left. That's not even left. It's right. It's bottom right, thank you, piano. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the bottom right one. I know it's right side on day nine. I'm not, I had the ladder. I'm not resetting that. I'll go back on floor five. Surely I don't get punished and get an infested floor. It's been a minute. I'm trying to remember great spots. I'm used to 1.5. Yes, followed by its top left is the craziest response I think I you could have given me. Yes doesn't answer anything because I asked between two things. And then you didn't even get the side right. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's like <laughs> worse than me sometimes when I say copper and iron. It, I interchange copper and iron so much. <laughs> this is crazy. Boys fire, thank you for the tier 3 for 51 months. It's fine not knowing, because it's like, obviously I don't know it, or I couldn't remember it, but it's like... Two answers that literally mean nothing. I said right. Yes is the best answer to all questions. <laughs> Streamer just finds it funny. It was a very comical uh two responses looking back at it
even play this game, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if uh, 1.6 works the same way with 1.5 infested floors. Even on Legacy. Legacy, yeah. Okay, so we have a 50-50 chance of... Uh, We have a 50-50 chance of this run either being really or fine without a monster floor on floor 18 or we have a monster floor on floor 18 and I'm going to want to uh, jump off Titan. If I remember correctly, I'm fine with ladder pace being slow as long as uh, my copper is super good. I don't need to make it to 40 on the first day. I really don't. Because you need so much copper, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, it's never a real run. It's only get card anyways. Good to treat it like a run in the meantime. I don't think the mining book is good for anything. Picked up that copper. Alright, I gotta press E again. Barrels on this floor suck, right? Yeah. Okay, floor five crates don't suck. But I'd agree with you, crates suck on 1.6. Okay, there's a magnet ring on that great spot. Never mind, this sucks much less.
Yikes. It's just unneeded in a run like this. It doesn't do anything. Crab pot items are so much easier to get in 1.6. I would say it's a month, month of wanting it. I technically never needed it, needed it in any of my runs. Especially since World Record got it without it. M, thank you for the prime. This is more Heim Neko. Now that I actually look at it. Yeah, thank you for the prime. I love this floor. I want my ladder charts back. the sheets. I would assume they are different than the 1.5 ones. Just like how the... Uh, crates are different. Use the same images. Oh, cool. I'll do that next run then. Wait, no. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, I figured it would be slightly changed like uh, the crates are. I'm gonna go get the carrots before I forget. Uh, 1.6 mines are just worse than 1.5 mines, first off. Second off, I acquired 50 extra iron ore that I never would have gathered in a CC run. The day ones of, uh, the of uh perfection runs are much slower in the mines they're not like cc runs in that regard Eighteen hour stream, that's not how these work. I do it and I do it over the course of five days. Or four days at this point with eighteen hours. Also, oh, this is D Rest. I only plan on playing the first year. There's something that I think should be included in perfection. Uh most of the Steam achievements. Uh, seven. I need 27 more copper. Nineteen more copper. There's our jade as well. That's nice. Free 2000. I feel like money's low, which I kind of do. Honestly, doesn't really help early, anyways, so. The main two that I'm more noting that aren't in perfection that should be are or polyculture and uh, monoculture or mo monoculture. Uh, nine, ten, eleven. That should be the club. Who decides? Uh, community. in the community. Yeah, raccoons should also be a part of it, in my opinion. That said, with those changes, uh, I don't know if it, will actually, if it would actually be faster on uh, 1.6, but, I mean, for consistency, I would like to see it. 
I'm fine with not all Steam achievements because I do think it would be dumb to have to marry and get kids because not everybody wants to do that. And I understand that. So I can agree with the thought process of not having those as requirements. Unfortunately, getting married is kind of forced just because of the star drop, but... That's a little bit of iron. Everybody likes to say Vector's Challenge hard, but Vector's Challenge added into a perfection speedrun literally just extends it, extends the category by me by anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour. Because doing a run of Perry King is about 30 minutes. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not saying it should be added to perfection. Um, I'll never say that, but... Actually, I probably have in the past as a joke just to piss people off. But, I, I mean, it, it shouldn't be added to perfection. I think it's fine that it... Not all Steam achievements are requirements for perfection, as I said with the marriage part. Or the children part. Begin with, but I think Factor's Challenge is severely like overrated in the terms of difficulty. People literally just play it once, die immediately, and say the game is impossible. They don't actually like grind to do it. You know, it took me 20 hours to do it my first time. I played Prairie King for 20 hours to be able to get Factor's Challenge. I wasn't good at it at 1.2. It's not something you're just going to pick up and immediately destroy. Also, not to mention, there are very easy ways to cheese it nowadays, where it's just piss easy to get. I literally publicly made fun of Shawnee for having to do Fector's Challenge the baby way in his 100% uh, playthrough <laughs> that he did on his channel. Unfortunately, I didn't get to make him do it uh, legitly because I I said if I or he said if I did Vector's challenge first try he would, and then I didn't do it first try. I did it second try because <laughs> I hadn't played Vector's challenge in literally like several months at that point. It almost always takes me two tries nowadays. The first one is a warm up, <laughs> which sucks, but it's just how it is. I need 105 iron. Yeah, 
Yeah, Factor's challenge is being Prairie Journey of the Prairie King arcade machine without dying once. Yeah, the imps is the hardest part. I guess I technically need an extra 25 more. The 15 plus 25. Um, 50? No, 40. Smelt of iron should be good enough. Fifteen more copper. It is very hard math. Um, I put it in at 5. Do I want to wait an hour here? I don't really know if I want to wait an hour for an extra smelt. I probably should, just purely because... Oh. Just to do, but that's fine. I'm also a little behind on the smelts, so... We're good on coal, but I mean, it lets me get ahead on the dust sprites a little bit.
probably take a bathroom break after this day. And then we'll look at our uh, spreadsheets. Should be selling stuff now. You don't have a full inventory. You don't have enough inventory space to bring back everything on that one day. So you, I have to go back to the thing to pick up the furnaces. Oh, I was getting stuff. I will be selling stuff. Yes. Yes. Yes, I will. You just don't have enough inventory room. So I do it like this because it's just. How you do it? Need to keep that. Uh, I'll keep everything else, I think. I don't know if we can get rid of the far steps, I believe. Need to keep one. Okay, cool. I'm gonna find out if that's good. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna look at some spreadsheets. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's take a look. So, our book RNG spot is 0.1386. So, we're going to go to our wonderful sheet here. What did it say? 0.18. That means we gotta go to 1 because of how these things are tracked. One zero one three eight one zero one three zero point one three. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm adding zero. I'm being stupid. Um, we need to go to one three eight. One three eight. Alrighty. So our starting position will be three back plus 30, right? Yeah. It would go to 168. These are our hits. Unfortunately, um, I should have checked the cart yesterday. But that's fine. Uh, this is kind of a shit spot. I really don't like checking these, but it's fine. I don't like checking these year two spots. They're kind of annoying. 
Good year three ones, though. Alrighty. So we're going to need to check the traveling cart tomorrow. This will narrow down a lot. And then we're going to need to check it on summer 7th and summer 28th. Now, nah, we've been doing this for a while on perfection. And then in year two, we'll see if we're going to the night market on uh, multiple days or just one. Depends on if we get a hit on uh, the 14th. All right. Uh, so tomorrow, we need to check the traveling cart. Whoa. All right, let's see if I can remember the pattern for hoeing. I'm actually going to low-key delete all my save files, but the one that I'm using right now. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I, I shouldn't do that. I was going to do that, but I shouldn't because then I see what the C of the file is. <laughs> I'm not going to open that folder. I'm not going to open that folder. I thought about it for a second. I would see the seed then if I were to open the folder and clear it out. Unfortunately, I don't really have a way of clearing this out then, so... I guess there's not too many files, but... Alright, lovely bug. I need to load back in. God, that's a thing. Here, here, here. I need to remove this so I'm not as confused. I definitely do not need 76 strawberries. So I can actually buy a few flamingos. I think if I really wanted to, I can buy a flamingo and the bunny plush. <laughs> That's how much extra money I have. When not on a D Rust runs, to, uh, <laughs> when I when I pause, <laughs> I mean I technically do and technically don't. It depends on how I'm doing the segment. I generally pause there because I almost always go to the bathroom after doing the run there or doing the mines. So I just look at the spreadsheet real quick. Realistically, I think before I started to actually look at the uh, spreadsheets off, or when I'm walking to the mines. It's really if I just have the timer paused already, I keep it paused or I unpause it. It's a mixture of both. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh no, that's enough.
Yeah, it's kind of one of those gray areas because of the rule set of perfection. Because it's like, would me pausing to look at my no or like taking a break and then looking at my notes of what I'm doing next counts as actively running? Because essentially what the spreadsheets are is looking at notes. So it's just like, how do you want to classify it? Not really inputting data. Classify. E. Again, I think it should, like, it's a gray area between how the rule set is laid out, and I'm going to take advantage if it's not, you know, if it's, if it doesn't 100% say looking at notes, keep your timer going. But it's always going to be one of those gray areas of perfection just because of how long it is. Uh, do Skull Cavern runs. When you go into Skull Caverns and you're looking for Prismatic Shards, you should be getting about three to 400 Iridium Ore. And then you'll probably get like two to three Prismatic Shards pretty consistently. When you get that much Iridium Ore. Summer 7th. Like a 3.5% chance every single time you break a Iridium node for it to uh, drop a Prismatic Shard. They're pretty common in that regard. I understand it a lot more for seeded runs because you're generally inputting data. But it's like, I find it different when you're not inputting data. In my personal opinion. Because it, it's the, akin to just looking at notes. 
But again, perfection is kind of just one of those unique categories just because it's so much longer compared to the rest. Summer, uh, tomato, blueberry, melon, squash, we need hot pepper seeds. The five hot pepper seeds, tomato, blueberry, melon, squash. What am I waiting on? Nothing. I get squash later. I have 96 spots to work with. Minus five. Yeah, okay. I'll buy ninety blueberries. The one thing at the start of Perfection Runs that I need to get in the groove more about is uh, instantly sleeping days. It's like the big part. I just need to get to the next day because... I said 90 blueberries. Because it just generally doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm mean, gonna need to double check when I do my uh, axe upgrades. I'm probably just gonna skip them from for now, but Oh, you know what? This is why it's practice. I forgot to buy the flowers, and I also need... Oh, no, I don't need... I do not need, uh, hops. I thought I, I, thought I had brewers. I knew I was missing something. That inventory just felt really light. What are the two flowers? Now it's some flower, it's not poppy. Wild medicine, I don't need to worry about that until near three. The only thing that I care about finishing in year one is the greenhouse. The only thing that matters is finishing the greenhouse in year one. CC doesn't get finished until year three. Just do this in the hard force one. I think it was the middle one.
We gotta complete the entire community center. And then repair the boat. There just so happens to be much bigger objectives than uh, to complete the community center at the start of this run. Just there are b bigger objectives than to get uh, to Ginger Island ASAP. Ginger Island is not the end-all be-all of this uh, run anymore. It's actually uh, the skills room is the major thing that I want to do right off the bat. And to do that, I need access to a shit ton of money. I also forgot to check the traveling cart on the 7th. It's fine, I'll check it on the 28th. I need to sleep a day. No, I do not do these runs in one sitting. I do it over the course of four to five days. Well, I was hesitant about doing these runs that I keep forgetting dumb shit. Uh, now I have no way of getting squashed consistently here. I kind of need squash like now. I need to re just rewatch my PB before I actually do runs like this. Forgetting, I'm forgetting like dates. I don't have squash anymore. I'm gonna watch my PB and just write everything down. Runs cooked. But it's not really good D-Rust if you're not actually learning anything from it because you don't know what you're doing. I don't really want to go look for a squash seed, but I feel like I have to. Also... I have 6,000 hours in this game, of course I earn them.
the little crop fairies. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I I did have the right idea earlier. I was supposed to sell these. It's Brewer's Bundle. I don't need to pre-sell them. On these, I want to sell these ASAP so I have as many days as possible to get the crop or to get the trees, tree fruit stuff. My brain, like, I even checked, like, oh, I have Artisan, I don't need to do it. No, I need to do it for Artisan. I don't do it for Brewers. Need a back cave going ASAP. Uh, I don't think I'll, I'll do that challenge in particular now. I've done perfection in the least amount of days, and that's, like, my perfection challenge that I would I preferred to do it's definitely interesting uh getting the least amount of perfection possible to open up the walnut room or to specific yeah the open up the walnut room and then do the Jojo waivers Make all the money for the Jojo waivers and then do perfection again. Essentially. They have the highest possible number on the tracker, but. Personally, fine. Standard, okay. Corn and yam. Forgot to check the card on the twenty eighth. Darn. do another category no i want to sub 18 in the non jojo category i just have to relearn the entire early game
Today's probably gonna end up being a short stream here. Just because I'm just I'm just awfully unprepared for this. I'm just gonna go until I would quote unquote get the greenhouse and then I'm probably just gonna ew, get food and rewatch the VOD. Boring stuff. Um, big plant. Where buy all the pumpkins now? Probably should now. It's just easy to buy 225. It's about what you need. It's not exact. But it's good. It would not be fun, trust me. It's not something I want to do on stream. Yeah, I was supposed to be upgrading the axe. Yep, I see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to do the actual. I, I shouldn't even play this out anymore. I don't even have the money. Uh, this is worthless. I need to rewatch the route. I really don't even have the money for what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I need to rewatch. That's fine. Whatever. I think that's gonna be it for me today. I had a late night last night, anyways. So. A little bit of an anti-climactic stream-ish today, but eh. that's what I get for not being prepared, I guess. What I get for not being prepared. Um, right, lizard. I'm done. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. I will be back on tomorrow doing better de-rust, hopefully. We'll see. Um, so yeah, for you guys dealing with my shit, sorry for the short stream, that's just how it is. Um, me. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, rest of your day. Stay safe out there and just take care. Later, peace.